Elevated Butterfly Glute Bridge. I'll show it to you and I'll coach you through it. The elevated part of the elevated butterfly glute bridge just means that your feet are higher than your hips. I'm using a bench, you can use a stool, chair, just something that's not gonna move under your weight. The second part is the butterfly position. The butterfly position is soles of the feet together. So here, just the outer edge of my foot is pushing against the edge of the bench. In this position during my setup, I'm going to feel a stretch in here and just let my knees relax open. As I go through the motion, it's going to be my job to keep the knees open and not allow them to close shut. Remember, we're trying to target the glutes in the glute bridge, not the low back. So I don't want to arch my back and push up. I want to go into a slight posterior tilt, drive up using the butt. At the top, I can feel some stretching happening here, and I certainly feel the outer part of my glutes pushing up, tapping the floor, coming back up. All right, notice I'm not extending the lumbar spine like that. I'm keeping my abs and glutes engaged. When I come down, my whole back touches the floor, and I go right back up. The hard part about this is keeping the knees open during it and trying to keep tension in this outer part of the hips. That is your elevated butterfly glute bridge.